Hey guys, how you doing? This is Alex with Havana Gardens. So I wanted to give you a little bit of uh, information on the Husqvarna 580 BTS that I just bought. Did some research online comparing the Echo 770, the Husqvarna 580, the Red Max 8500, and the Steel 700. What I've noticed is that uh, there's a lot of people that are looking for the most powerful blower, obviously, and this thing is that. It is very powerful. It's got 908 CFMs, which is what you should be looking at, not the miles per hour, which I obviously didn't know that until I did a little bit more research. Um, but this one has, like I said before, 908 CFMs. The Red Max 8500 has the same. And also, while doing research, found out that Husqvarna bought Red Max, so this machine and the E8500 is the same exact machine. So, only difference is that you're going to be paying a little bit more for the Red Max, probably between 50 to 100 bucks more because of the color, which, again, I don't really care about, but I uh, just wanted to let you guys know that. Also, on the Steel uh, 700, their CFMs are 912, so it's a little bit more, but you're not going to really notice the difference on 908 or 912. What I did find out on the Steel 700 is that you have to bring it in after a month or two to get the carbs readjusted um, on this thing. You don't have to do anything, just put the gas in there and go. And that's exactly what this thing does. It is super, super powerful. And I've been looking online, amongst other things, with people that live in South Florida and with the grass being wet and dirt being on the ground and all I found was people blowing snow and blowing leaves, comparing each other on how far it goes and whatnot. And like I said, here in South Florida, today is a perfect day to, or as an example of when you're cutting the grass and it just rains for about 20 minutes and gets everything just sticking to the cement, that's where you need that powerful blower to come in handy. Uh, a couple things I've noticed is that the air filter, pretty easy to get to. Uh, steel is not so easy to get to. Um, this handle is a little different than other handles. Obviously, it's not on top of the tube, the air tube, but uh, it's actually been pretty cool. I didn't think I would like it, but it's been actually really nice. It moves back and forth pretty nice, and uh, no complaints about that. Off and off switch, again, pretty good. Up is off, and the middle is on, and if you push that little lever all the way down it's like basically keeping it on automatic so it just keeps it full blast for you to walk around with so it's very 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 cool feature some people say they don't like it some people that they do I'm one of those that say they do um, got some nice straps here very very comfortable um, weight wise it's about 25 pounds my echo is I think 24.8 pounds so it's really not that big of a difference so I think they all weigh kind of the same but this has a some really good padding underneath here, so it's, uh, like I said, just pretty comfortable machine to work with. I've been dealing with them for about a month and a half now. Service people are pretty nice, um, getting my oil there and whatnot, and they, you know, pretty cool about it. If you need something, come on in, but I haven't had to do anything, just uh, your regular two-cycle oil and go. Other than that, I'm going to do a little short video here on uh, how it gets the dirt and stuff off the ground and the wet grass off the cement. And then uh, you guys can make your decision then. Hopefully it helps you out. And it's going to get, you know, kind of loud for a little bit. But hope you enjoy the video. Also, it's really easy to start. Once I start it in the morning, after that, it's uh, ready to go.
So hopefully that helps you out a little bit. I did uh, two of my properties uh, that are in West Palm. One is regular cement. Another one is has a painted surface like you see. That way you guys can see the difference. But if it helps you guys make a decision, it is an awesome machine. And I uh, hope you guys like the video. Have a good day.